Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me on my YouTube and Rumble channels today. Today is May the 18th of 2023 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. I'd like to take a minute to thank all of you who have been praying for me through this time of eye surgery and I thank you for your encouraging and kind comments regarding the content of these videos. My prayer is that the Lord is blessing all who hear these words, that through it you will be encouraged and built up in the Lord, that you will recognize the calling upon your lives and grow in your faith. The Lord intends for us to build the body of Christ, to bless one another and speak words of life. So I thank you for your participation in that. Just a note to say that for those of you who would want a hard copy of The Daily Word, please go to my website and click on the downloadable printable PDF file. And for those of you who want to review previous words, please click on the archives. For those of you who are new to this channel, thank you for joining us. And if you enjoy the content of this video today, please take a minute to click the subscribe button and the notification icon for notification of new videos as they come out. As I have expressed in other videos, the way I receive these prophetic words from the Lord is by sitting with Him and hearing what He is saying and writing down the Word just as He releases it to me. And in that, though I sense the presence of the Lord in it and that these are His words, the Lord does not necessarily give me a full understanding of what his word is referring to in certain instances. And so I ask of you to always be discerning these words. And the Lord may give you a fuller revelation of what he is referring to. I don't want to read into these words. I don't want to try to interpret them. I am just presenting them to you as the Lord gives them to me. I hope this word today will bless and encourage you. It is titled, The Bride and the Bridegroom. I'll begin by reading scripture. Habakkuk 2 verses 2 through 3. Then the Lord replied, Write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. This scripture verse speaks of the prophet Habakkuk, whom the Lord released revelation to and asked him to write it down and make it clear so that this word could be distributed. And if this prophetic word has already been fulfilled or not yet, the Lord is saying that it certainly will be. Revelation 10 verses 6 through 7 and he swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created the heavens and all that is in them, the earth and all that is in it, and the sea and all that is in it, and said, There will be no more delay. But in the days when the seventh angel is about to sound his trumpet, the mystery of God will be accomplished, just as he announced to his servants, the prophets. This scripture passage speaks again of the revelation of mysteries of God that have not yet been revealed. 
but in the last day they will be fulfilled. I'll begin reading this word. In the place of praise is great intimacy with the Father and Son, for in this place the Father's heart is delighted and his blessings flow. In this place the Son is honored and his name is exalted in the earth. His delight is in his bride who comes into his chambers in worship. His love is aroused, and his bride is wooed unto him. You will see that the sun is drawing nearer, that a desire for him is being kindled in the heart of his bride, that she is being drawn unto him. I am preparing my bride. I am adorning her with passion for the bridegroom. Her heart shall burn with desire for him, longing for his coming, and from deep within will flow forth love and adoration, bursting forth in worship. The bridegroom is not far off. He is drawing nearer for the time of his appearing is at hand. Those who have unentangled themselves from the world to seek the face of the Lord will soon receive their reward, for the wedding feast is at hand. The Son is coming for his bride. The Spirit and the bride say, Come, and he is coming for those who have longed with passion for him. This is the time. This is the hour of his coming. Do not let anyone deceive you. Do not listen to the voice of the mockers and scoffers who are unable to comprehend the hour in which they live and will be caught off guard by his coming. Are you ready? Are you ready to leave this world, to be taken up and out of it. The time is soon. You do not realize how soon. I am coming quickly for those who have been made ready, and they shall be lifted up on the heights, says the Lord. They shall be taken up in the spirit to heights unknown and uncomprehended by the mind of man. You do not understand, and you cannot understand what I am doing in this day. It is a mystery to all of mankind, but I am about to open the seal that has sealed it closed and reveal to you what has been hidden. There has been no time in history like this, the full revelation of the mystery of God is to be revealed to my servants, the prophets. I am putting the scroll into their hands, and they shall run with the message. Pages and pages shall be penned of the wonderful workings of the Spirit in this day. In this word today, the Lord is addressing his relationship with his bride. He longs to be with her, and he is telling us that he is coming soon to take his bride to be with him. He is preparing his bride, putting passion into her heart for his coming. It's interesting that in this word as well, the Lord speaks of this hidden mystery that will be revealed. We don't know the details of that mystery, but the Lord is speaking to his prophets and releasing more and more detail to unveil this mystery. One thing we do know, it is connected to the bridegroom coming for his bride. In scriptures that speak about the rapture, the Lord tells us that we will be changed in the twinkling of an eye. We will become like him. That in itself is uncomprehensible 
to the human mind. And so the details even surrounding that have been hidden from us. But in this day, the Lord is telling us he is about to release a full revelation of the mystery of God through his prophets. He is giving them a scroll, a revelation of these things. And the prophet is to pen these things and make them known. And so, I don't know about you, but I am excited that the Lord is releasing these things to us in this day. These mysteries that had been prophesied about by God's holy prophets of old that have been sealed up for this time because the bridegroom is drawing near and is not far off. I hope this word today encourages all of you hearing it, that Jesus is coming for his bride, and whatever mysteries there are surrounded by his coming will be revealed to us who are passionate for him and his coming. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to you all in the name of Jesus. Bye for now.